Hello, and welcome to Nana's Kitchen. I'm Dorothy from Georgia, and tonight we are going to make avocado stuffed eggs. So we're going to do like a deviled egg, but with avocados. Now here's my problem. I don't know if this is gonna work because I have purchased five avocados and they all seem a little too um, not ripe yet, but they've been out for days, so we'll see what happens with them. I don't want to get another knife because I don't want to cut myself. And the seed is now on that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I just have, these are for my uh, lunch. So I just have three eggs that I have hard boiled. And I'm actually using a tray because my cutting board is where my camera is. And I'm just going to scoop out the egg yolk into my processor. Guys, if you're catching me live, put a one in the comment. If you're catching me on the replay, hashtag replay. And tell me what you did today. I worked um, at work, and then I went and did um, like a tutoring after school with the student. Hello, Tanya. So, um, I'm a vegetarian, but I do eat eggs, and so I am just um, making these up. That way I can have them for lunch tomorrow. I will save some to do on um, a live, or a tasting tomorrow on my story. Probably will not be while I'm at work. So I'm taking half of, half of the large avocado, the, the egg yolks from three eggs, a quarter of a cup of mayo, a tablespoon of scallion, and I'm leaving a tablespoon out for the topping. A teaspoon of lime juice. Because hello, we're having avocados. Hello, William. How are you? William, did you work from home today or are you off on um, out of town? Salt and pepper to taste, guys. Avocados, drop an avocado emoji down down in the comments. Have you ever tried avocado stuffed de uh, deviled eggs? I have never tried it, and I found this recipe in our recipe group, and I thought this sounds very good. Hello, Phyllis. Hey, Jerry. Same place as always, Jerry. That's all right. That's all right, guys. It's gonna get a little loud. A spatula because I can tell that I'm gonna need to do that you know I'm using a blender instead of a food processor hey Olivia how are you hey Tommy I'm using a blender instead of a food processor because at Christmas my food processor died and I have I know what I want um, and I'm waiting for Costco to get it so once Costco gets what I want then I will get a new food processor. Meanwhile, 
I'm not so sure this is gonna, the blender's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna actually add a little more lime juice just to see if that will help. Or I will have to uh, smash it by hand, which was not, if you know this, not gonna work. All right guys, a Nana fail. We cannot do it in this mixer. So, give me a second and let me swap it to a bowl. The Mick My Ninja just can't do everything. What can I say? Let's see, I had faith in my ninja. It's supposed to be, the idea behind this particular one is that it is extremely smooth. So, the food processor would have worked much, much better. So, and it would also help if my avocado was super duper ripe versus just sorta of ripe. Now, I like it with a little bit of a texture, typically if I'm eating it on a sandwich, but in this particular recipe, its idea is for it to be smooth. And I don't know how smooth I'm gonna be able to get it. The picture looks so pretty. And normally when I do my deviled eggs, they are very um, smooth, um, textured, they're not chunky. And so that's what I, why I liked this picture. And I like avocado. It's a great way to get in your healthy fats. How is it that you, what do you do to get in your healthy fats? All right, guys. So, this is what we got. And we're going with it. So, I am not a... Um, one to want to pop it and make it if it was if it was a, a a dinner or something like that maybe but there it is now i would put a little paprika on it a little sprinkle of scallion on it and that is what my lunch will look like tomorrow and again um, I will do a tasting on my live tomorrow I mean on my story tomorrow so be checking that out and I still don't know do you like avocados what do you do for your healthy fat oh smoothie Phyllis that's a great idea what do you put in your smoothie for your healthy fat. Do you use uh, coconut oil or what is it you're using for your healthy fat? Do you do the avocado in a smoothie? Uh, Phyllis, it does look delicious. I've already, um, eaten for today and so I won't eat these until tomorrow um, but I think that these are gonna be good for my lunch tomorrow again that's healthy fats it's um, my protein I'm a vegetarian so the egg is my protein guys and I think that if I had a food processor and if this was um, in my egg tray these would make a beautiful appetizer for um, a party all right guys there you have it I hope you have a wonderful evening um, I will let you know how the avocado 
deviled eggs, taste, blueberries, strawberries. Bananas have so many carbs, Phyllis. I know they have other health benefits, but they have so many carbs. That is one thing I choose to stay away from um, because, again, we are low carb here. So we are um, definitely staying away from the bananas. But the berries, on the other hand, we are all about the berries in moderation. All right, guys, have a wonderful evening. If you found any value in this whatsoever, please share it out. And I appreciate you. And welcome to Nana's Kitchen. Bye, guys.